Welcome to Container Planting 101 with the Green Seattle Partnership. Follow along to learn how you can set your plant up for success. Clear away all loose material on the ground. Use a hand tiller to remove grasses if present. Then, dig a hole about two times the width of the pot and about as deep as the pot. Be sure to clear away all rocks and as many pre-existing roots from your hole as you can. If the sides of your hole are smooth, roughen them up with your shovel to help the roots penetrate the surrounding soil. Now it's time to remove the plant from its pot and prepare for planting. Scrunch or press the sides of the pot with your hands to loosen the roots from the pot. Place your hand on top of the stem and invert the plant to remove it from the pot. If your plant has been in the pot for a while, it might have accumulated a lot of roots. Be sure to take care to loosen all these roots. Loosen the root ball with your hands or hand tiller. We want roots to be facing down and out, ensuring that no roots are stuck in the circular formation of the pot, thus cutting off the circulation of the plant. We call this girdling and we want to avoid it. Be sure to break the roots near your hole so you can integrate the potting soil with the local soil when filling the hole back in. Be gentle with the roots, but it's okay if some of the roots are broken in this process. If you see larger girdling roots, ask your event lead to prune them. Now your plant is ready to be placed in its new home. Place the plant in the hole so the root collar is flush with the ground. It can be helpful to lay your shovel across the hole so you can estimate where the ground will be when you fill the hole back in. If you dug too deep a hole, you can backfill some dirt so that the root collar is flush with the ground. It's very important that you don't have too deep or too shallow a hole. Plants installed too deep have an increased chance of their stem rotting, while plants installed too shallow will cause the roots to dry out. Arrange the roots in a downward fashion so that the roots are pointed down and out. Once the plant is properly arranged in the ground, it needs to be packed into place. Backfill using the native soil you removed to dig the hole. You can add leftover soil from the pot to supplement organic material. Definitely make sure to remove big rocks and grass. Pack down the soil firmly with your hands as you place it back in the hole, careful not to disturb the roots you carefully arranged before. Once you have packed the soil up to the root collar, but no higher, firmly pack the soil down to remove all air pockets. When you are done packing the soil, gently pull the plant's stem to ensure it's firmly in the ground. We call this a tug test. If the plant comes out of the ground at all, it needs to be packed in more or it wasn't properly incorporated into the ground. Place two buckets worth of mulch around the base of the plant. The mulch should be placed in a donut shape, but not touching the plant itself. The mulch should be about one hand's width away from the plant's stem. Mulch will help to keep the soil moist, weed seed suppressed, and will help build long-term soil health for our new baby plant. Congratulations, now your plant is in the ground and set up for success.